Hello everyone, Abdul Muksit here with another tutorial on Croco Blockjet Engine. Last time we have discussed how you can use a REST API from a WordPress source into Jet Engine and display the listing and content. Then we discuss how you can use WooCommerce REST API in WordPress. Today we're gonna discuss how you can use third party API sources to display data from other website in your website. So let's start. Alright, so we have one of the biggest website for API which is known as Rapid API where you can find dozens of API sources. Some of them are free, some of them are paid, some has limitations. So you have to check everything. Right now you can see some recommended API just like we have OpenAI from ChatGPT, API Basketball and so on. For our example, we will be using um, dog breeds. So here you can check breed and it is showing us an API dog breed you can check the latency popularity and service level it will show you the availability of the API because a lot of people a lot of resources are using this API so you have to check the availability alright <coughs> before you use this service you have to subscribe because I already subscribe it cannot show me the option here but you will see a subscribe to this api endpoint here these are the credential provided by rapid api we have the request url we have api key and we have the host you can see the details here in the uh, request also first step go to your dashboard and click on jet engine and then jet engine so here you can see rest api endpoints if you can't see this option here make sure to enable it from here rest api listing click here add new endpoint let's name it dog breeds api endpoint url go here and this is our url okay copy and paste it here item path we are not mentioning here because this is the root of the api endpoint we do need authorization in this case you have to choose rapid api it is asking for three parameters api key host and string if you open rapid api you will see key here let's copy the key from here and then we have host let's copy the host and let's check our request the request is successful we are connected click on save if you go here and click on test endpoint it will return the data needed for this api so here we can see the dog breeds now we have several fields here we will be displaying some of them in our listing go to listings and add new here in listing source we need to choose rest api endpoint and let's click on dog breed here i will mention dog breed for example the name of the listing let's create a two column layout <coughs> on the left side we need an image an image source let's choose REST API image and it will return the field so our is dog breed and here we will choose image so we got an image of a dog let's make it medium large and let's make it full size all right let's add the title of the dog REST API field scroll down and let's have breed perfect let's make a duplicate small size and here I will choose origin it will show the country Turkey and let's have some metadata also so we have meta meta is another level in our rest API so for example we want to 
show color okay so for this purpose you need to use dynamic field insert a dynamic field and here we need to choose meta it will show you an error that we can't render the field because the data format is an array and it has child so scroll down and click on filter field output here you will find an option of get child element from object array so we need color i pasted color so here it is showing us white 90 okay for first we have white 90 okay if you want to mention for example notes just take copy of this and here child element should be notes so it is showing you the notes also uh, let's make it full width and make it center and let's update so this was one of our listing now click on exit and let's create a page where we can display the dogs let's hide the title i will insert a listing grid and here we will choose dog breed it is fetching data from our api so it will take a little bit time we will make it one column it is a bit slow because it is fetching data online uh, one issue we are facing in jet engine third-party rest api is that it cannot filter the data as of now maybe there is some bugs or they might fix it in future let me update the page if we check the result we can see the dog breeds here all of them with photos and details uh, now if you want to filter the data you can filter it using query builder go to query builder and add new because usually we don't need the full list of the breeds or the api request it's supposed to be relevant to a page or a post so let's have a dogs by origin click on rest api query and here we need to mention dog breed let's display our data so we have 591 records if i apply key here let's have a key like origin and turkey so the key is applied here but the results are same even if i update the query it will remain the same if we go to dog breed in rapid api and i apply the same parameter here origin is turkey and let's test the endpoint so it is giving us seven items and here we are getting 591 so this problem should be solved other than that the rest api with third party works well so this was a short tutorial on how you can use third party rest api content in your wordpress using croco block jet engine if the filtration problem is solved it will allow users to add dynamic data from outside website in their own website using this api endpoints if you have any question please write in the comments thank you so much